so cool. <laughs> Hello, welcome to G Cinema. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire has the chance to explain one of the strangest parts of both the second movie and 2021's Afterlife. Despite its iconic status, the Ghostbusters movie franchise has always been a strange one. The cast and filmmakers behind the original had little interest in making a sequel and it took years for the studio to convince them to reunite for 1989's Ghostbusters 2. The lukewarm response to the sequel and Bill Murray's continued reluctance to return then saw the franchise take an unexpected 27-year break from the big screen. This gap was broken by the 2016 reboot Ghostbusters Answer the Call, which failed to produce direct sequels. The series is finally up and running once more, with Ghostbusters Afterlife and the forthcoming Ghostbusters Frozen Empire being the quickest sequel turnaround in the saga's history. The next entry will return to New York too, with Frozen Empire inspired by cartoon The Real Ghostbusters. The story will see both old and new generations of Ghostbusters teaming up to stop an apocalyptic threat. Reviews for Ghostbusters Afterlife highlighted several issues, including an over-reliance on nostalgia and a self-serious tone. Another Afterlife critique was the idea the events of Ghostbusters and its sequel had been largely forgotten by the world at large. The same could be said of Ghostbusters 2, where a river of slime caused yet more ghostly attacks. The titular team also caused the Statue of Liberty to walk through the city, with the residents later rallying behind the Ghostbusters in the finale. Granted, the 1989 sequel also made it appear that New York had forgotten about the original's ending, but still, it feels like averting two supernatural crises would be enough for people to at least recall the Ghostbusters. Afterlife, however, made it sound like the world suffered some form of mass amnesia following the first two films. Even though the originals were set during the 1980s, there still had to have been video recordings or photos of what happened to. The third film didn't really tackle this, but Ghostbusters Frozen Empire could finally explain why people keep forgetting what should be world-changing events. The original Ghostbusters introduced EPA Inspector Walter Peck, who became the human antagonist of the story. Peck comes to the Ghostbusters firehouse to inspect their containment unit. But despite trying to be polite with Bill Murray's Venkman, the latter repeatedly insults and dismisses Peck. After getting a court order, it was Peck who ordered the containment unit shut down, causing the ghosts within to escape. Peck is returning for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire and appears to have become mayor of New York, naturally, he's still not a fan of the team. Peck's return could help explain why people don't take the Ghostbusters seriously, as he may have worked hard to discredit them during their heyday. In the third act of Ghostbusters, Peck tried to convince the mayor the team are complete frauds who use sense and nerve gases to induce hallucinations and make their customers believe they are seeing ghosts. He also stated that once they've been called they solve the problem with a fake electronic light show. In the years following his encounter with the Ghostbusters, he may have doubled down on this narrative. Indeed, the people of New York may not have wanted to believe in the events of the original Ghostbusters either. A more grounded explanation that the team were simply con artists and staged the whole thing may have taken root with Peck's help. Even after the things Peck himself witnessed in the first entry, he appears to have reverted to the mass hallucinations narrative in Frozen Empire. The villain of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is out to cause a new ice age and it once again falls to the title characters to save the day. Assuming the sequel doesn't end on a bleak note, it's safe to predict they'll succeed. With that in mind, a potential Ghostbusters 5 can't resort to the world pretending ghosts don't exist again. Not only would this be stretching credibility to breaking point, but it would be tedious for the franchise to refuse to evolve. The Ghostbusters have always been underdogs, so it made some sense to have them constantly being doubted and belittled. That said, after Ghostbusters Frozen Empire where they save New York again, it would be nice to see a film where people actually believe in them. If anything, this could form part of the story, with the gang having to deal with increased press attention or rival ghost hunting companies. Either way, it's time to drop the amnesia storyline once and for all. <laughs>